So welcome back to another episode of 13 Nights of Halloween. And today we're going to be looking at one of my favorite, House of Wax. We're out there, you gotta be careful. I am being careful. No, no, no. Not that piece of travesty. There's nothing good about that one. Except for a pair of salt and gain impaled. That was actually pretty funny. But no, I'm talking about the original one with Vincent Price. Wait, seriously, you don't know him? Um, he's a famous horror movie actor. He was in Edward Scissorhands, Radigan, Iron Tail. He was the voice of the creepy guy in Michael Jackson's Thriller. Any of these? No? Wow. Read a book, people. So the movie's about a wax sculptor, played by Vincent Price, who is a little too attached to his uh, creations. Forgive me, my dear, for discussing your intimate secrets. I'm sorry. I lose myself at times. And then his landlord decides to burn the place down. With him inside. But somehow Vincent Price survives and he wants to redo his entire wax museum. But one lady thinks that he's up to no good when his museum opens. After her friend goes missing, she suspects her to be one of the statues. And I don't want to give it away because that will spoil the movie. Which isn't too much of a spoiler. Okay, he's basically turning dead people into sculptures. That's pretty much it. There, there, that's better. What I wouldn't give to have those fingers of yours. But, you know, this movie was kind of strange. The pacing was off, the writing was bad. There was like an intermission that happened halfway through at 45 minutes. And then suddenly he comes back to this guy who's playing paddle ball for no good reason, and... A little fun fact about this movie is that it was actually the first studio picture that was filmed in stereoscopic, is that right? Stereoscopic 3D. But the funny thing is, there's not that much to show for the 3D. Oh, there's someone with a bag of popcorn. Close your mouth, it's the bag I'm aiming at. Not your tonsils, here she comes. This movie is campy as it can get. And I don't mean campy in just like the production design, I mean in just the dialogue. You know, I think I could do that. Oh, really, you couldn't. I could too if I took my stays off. You can really tell that this movie is a product of its time because it is so chauvinistic. Thank you for the uh, use of your coat. Oh, oh, that was nothing. Well, it meant a lot to me. Well, when I found you weren't dressed too warmly, I, uh, well, I didn't want you to catch cold. But to be honest, the best part of this movie is Vincent Price. It's not his best work, and actually it's some of his most subdued work ever. But he's still throwing his one-liners in there, and it is just a blast to listen to some of the stuff he's saying. He was a thoughtful husband, Henry. It was he who invented the shortcut to divorce. To say she admitted she was a traitor. Who wouldn't under that sort of pressure? Oh, by the way, ladies, this is how your ancestor carried his bride across the threshold. So, if you're looking for a fun horror film to watch, something campy, lighthearted, and not too scary, and even some of Vincent Price at his best, I'd say check this out. Oh, Millie! Smelling songs, ladies, help yourself. Thank you very much. Except just be prepared to see his face fall off. Well, I gotta hand it to you, Vincent. Looks like your world is shattered. Hey, before you go, why don't you hit that subscribe button, do us all a favor, and watch some of those videos down there. Some of them should be fun, and a lot more fun than playing with this thing. My god, this is the stupidest toy ever. Let me see, I think I can hit it at the camera. Let's try that. Whoa!